In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, welcome once again to our service here from St Andrews in Kelso. For this, the third Sunday after Easter, we're delighted that you're joining us wherever that may be. I'll be leading the first part of the service, I'm Bob King, and then our reader, Moira Edwardson, will um, say the gospel and preach, and then Grace Redpath um, will celebrate. So you get three for three of us today, all for the price of one. We start in the traditional form on page one of the Scottish Episcopal Church 1982 liturgy. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We meet in Christ's name. Let us share his peace. And we're sharing his peace today with the lawnmower that's going outside. Bless it and all those who cut grass. There's something about the smell of cut grass, isn't there? It's a real smell of resurrection, of new life and of, of things coming to back, back up again. And grass is one of those amazing things that you can walk over and stamp it, and cut it down, but it just keeps coming back. It's like God's love. It's just there all the time, growing and reaching out, reaching out to you and me to support us. That's not a bad bit of theology, straight off the cuff, was it? With that thought, let's say together the collect for purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second commandment is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There's no other commandment greater than these. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God is love, and each one of us is a loved and precious child of God. We love because God loved us first. And so let us confess our sins in penitence and in faith. God our Father, we confess to you and to our fellow members in the body of Christ that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. Forgive us our sins and deliver us from the power of evil. For the sake of your Son who died for us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. God, who is both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. The collect for this, the third Sunday after Easter, third Sunday of Easter, do apologise. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladden the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life, 
and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so let us pray. Creator God, we pray for our world. We pray for those parts of the world that are devastated by humanity. We give thanks for those who work tirelessly to ensure food production, to ensure the ecological balance, to ensure that we work properly with the resources that you have given us. And so we pray for the tension between those who want to destroy for greed, for profit, and those who want to work with and sustain. Creator God, in the middle, there's always the right place to be and the right things to do. Guide us and inspire us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this season of Easter, we give thanks for the risen Christ, who came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. We give thanks for his appearances to the disciples and his time with us and space with us, his encouragement of us today. And we pray that we may meet him not only on the seashore, but in every aspect of our lives. As we think of the seashore, we think of the ecology of the seas. We pray for fishermen, for those who are working to protect our coral reefs, for those who put their lives at risk daily on our behalf. We pray for those who work to conserve the great sea creatures. And we give thanks for the sightings of you as we work together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this season of Easter, we pray for your church throughout the world. But during this holy season, we also remember those of other faiths. We remember, we remember our Muslim brothers and sisters as they fast. We pray for our Christian brothers and sisters as they celebrate and we pray for all people of faith and of no faith Lord in your mercy hear our prayer we remember those who are sick those who are suffering from the effects of coronavirus or long covid for those who have other illnesses are being treated at this time or awaiting treatment. We give thanks to those who care in hospitals, in doctors' surgeries, in their home. And we pray particularly for the huge administrative teams who ensure that services are delivered in the right place at the right time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the lives of those who've gone before us, those we've loved and those we still love. Pray for all those who mourn, famous and just famous to, to a few. And we remember those whose anniversaries fall at this time. Pray for those who remember for the example left behind. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. And finally, Creator God, we pray for ourselves. In all the aspects of us as human beings, all our emotions, our thoughts, our challenges, our excitements, our joys, our sadnesses. Make us, Creator, into the people you want us to be. And when that hurts, remind us just how much you love us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. A reading from the book of Acts, the third chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. Peter addressed the people. You can imagine, can't you? You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? And why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one, and you asked to have a murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know, and the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, says Peter, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now Maura Edwardson will come and read her gospel and preach. <laughs> 